Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really great. Dean here and I'm jumping on camera today to talk to you about the Riddle animated series that I'm making. The five part series is coming in a couple of months. I'm still putting everything together right now. Um, I'm waiting on the artwork as well. So the artwork is about halfway done. Um, I've been back and forward in touch with my artist who's also going to be my animator for the project. And I haven't given him a time frame for the artwork for the series poster because I want it to be perfect and also that kind of the art style how the characters are drawn are going to reflect how they will appear in the series as well I keep saying to myself documentary in my head it's a series <laughs> so anyway what I wanted to do is I wanted to come on camera today I wanted to do two things here's an ambulance in the background and um, I always bless myself when I hear an ambulance so anyway I wanted to come on talk about the characters, well not really talk about the characters, but wanted to give you a list of the characters that we are going to use, basically. Um, and then I want to read you out the trailer storyboard kind of script, okay? So it's kind of rough at the minute, but I want to give you guys an idea of, of how this is going to play out. So let's run through the characters for the first episode anyway. These characters are guaranteed to be in the first episode. They're not all guaranteed to be in the trailer because obviously the trailer has to be as short as possible but have the right effect on the viewer as well to draw you in for the first episode so we have got tom riddle senior he's going to be in the first episode very 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 small appearance maybe three or four seconds but he's going to be in it we've got mara Pagons. we've got mrs cole who runs the orphanage and um, we've also got a nurse so i'm just going to call her for now nurse edith i don't think you know having mrs cole run the entire orphanage on her own with no help whatsoever it just doesn't seem feasible so we're going to add a nurse in just you know just to help the characters out we're also going to see obviously the main guy tom riddle jr he'll be about seven to eight years of age in the first episode then we're going to have amy benson and dennis bishop you remember these two kids were Tom basically terrorised him in the cave where he eventually went on to hide at the lock at Horcrux. He did something horrific to them that day and that's what I want to try and figure out. So again, I'm sticking to canon but I kind of have to work with you know the knowledge I have and I might have to do a little bit of fan fiction into making up what he actually did to Amy and Dennis. But I will, hopefully it reflects to what we all think he did. He just done something terrifying. He scared the life out of him. So I will work something out um, when the script is properly written. You're going to see Albus Dumbledore and Garrick Ollivander as well. So they will have a very, very small appearance. I just want to show Dumbledore handing over the two Phoenix tail feathers to Garrick. That might be a muted scene i mean you know just music playing over it i think it'll have a much kind of a better effect um and then we're going to have a character who probably won't make actually he probably won't make the first episode he will definitely be in the second one maybe he'll be in the end of the first episode it depends how much we can get in called imal um bit of a secret behind that name but i'll reveal that later on Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to talk to you now about the trailer storyboard. I'm going to read it out to you. Now, I'm going to really have to ask you to imagine this because this is how it's going to be pan out. Most likely, it's going to be exactly how it pans out. And as I said, please just try and imagine this in your head. So, it's quite rough at the minute. I wouldn't say quite rough, but I've got, you know, 80% of how I want it to turn out. I might make some adjustments to it. So, let's go. I want you to picture we're in London, Wool's Orphanage, okay? So it's raining, it's night time, it's windy. I want you to picture that in your head right now. We go to an overview of Wool's Orphanage. So we can basically, we can make out the sign, we can make out the building. So the orphanage will be based on like an 18th century old building, something like a hospital that was converted, you know, into an orphanage. Then we're gonna move to a close-up of the Wolves Orphanage sign. The camera will slowly move down to the gate and a pregnant Merope stumbles to the gate. Then we're gonna to cut to one hand grabbing onto one of the bars, okay? So I want you to try and imagine that for me. We're gonna have a close-up of the orphanage's huge wooden door. This is an old door. Then we're just gonna to cut to Merope's arm only in the scene, knocking hard 
on the door knocker. So it's just going to be boom, 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 like that, you know. So then we're going to hear Merope speak for the first time. She's going to be distressed and she's going to say the following. Please, I beg you, open the door. So then we'll have a zoomed out view. It's going to zoom out of both her hands being placed on the door. So basically, if we can do this, like this on the door. You know, so she's distressed. Then we're going to cut to a view from the inside of the orphanage as Mrs. Cole, still in her nightgown or bedclothes, she answers the door. And she'll say something like, what in heavens is the meaning of such a late call? So we cut to the outside, the door opens and Merope falls to her knees from exhaustion. So Mrs. Cole then will call Edith, the nurse. So nurse Edith, who as I said, had to make up. So she'll say something like, oh dear, oh dear. Edith, Edith, come quickly. Okay, so this is Mrs. Cole saying this. And then we're going to have an overhead shot of the orphanage. Outside, raining, windy, it's cold. Then we'll hear baby cries. So Merope has given birth. So then we're going to cut to a medium-sized room with a single bed. It has a window. It's still raining outside, as I said. We can hear the rain, just, you know, pitter-patter. Merope is in a bed moments after giving birth. She's very, very weak. Okay? Then Merope is going to say something along the lines of, Tom, call on Tom, like his father. The nurse will reply, Okay, my dear, Tom it is. So then we're going to cut to a... We're going to cut to a... Yeah, a corridor. We're going to cut to a corridor. It's going to be medium length. Mrs. Cole is standing in the corridor. The door opens... Nurse Edith walks out and she nods her head as if to say she didn't make it. Okay, so Merope is gone. It's a zoomed out view again outside the orphanage. Thunder and lightning in the sky. Okay, so it's... Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a black background. Green text on the screen will come across saying the following. You know the story of the boy who lived... Now it's time for the story of the boy who made all the wrong choices. Then we cut to the courtyard. The kids are playing. Tom sits alone and a small snake appears beside him and he says something like, he looks at it and he says, hello, I'm Tom. Cuts, black, green text on the screen again five part series we're going to go back to the courtyard but it's a zoomed out overhead view and then we'll hear dialogue like an echo dialogue saying I like to hurt those who are mean I like to hurt those who aren't I don't know why but I like it then black screen again green text coming in 2020 goes back to the courtyard it's an overview. The camera rushes in really, really quickly, stops on Tom Middle with his head down. He lifts his eyes and they glow red. Black text, riddle. And that's basically it. That's how the trailer is going to go. Um, <clears throat> I hope you guys like that. I hope you can kind of imagine it and I hope I've, you know, given you some sort of insight to how it's going to go. That is what I am going to be paying this animator to put together for me. So we've got to draw out the characters. When I mean draw it out, I mean they've got to be drawn, sketched in detail. We've got to get all those done first. And we've got to confirm that this is going to be the actual dialogue. And again, the storyboard has to be created before the animation process can continue. It's probably going to be maybe 45 seconds long. So guys, as you know, and for those of you who don't know, animation is a very, very detailed process. Something like 45 second trailer could take anything up to two months to do, given the current animator's workload, because he has a team with him. So hopefully we can get it quick enough. I do have some funds there. I'm not sure whether to crowdfund for this. The total cost of everything, the five episodes is going to cost roughly between 15000 to 20000 Um, Animation costs a lot of money. I 
really feel like I want to pay for this myself. I don't want to ask you guys to fund this. I don't want to ask you guys for your money. Um, I don't want the backlash because of it either. I don't want you to think I'm greedy trying to take your money. I don't know. Maybe if you want to let me know in the comment section below if you feel I should crowdfund and if you would be happy to donate, maybe we can work someone out work someone out work something out but i just don't know how i feel about it right now but again you can let me know i'm still waiting on the artwork guys as i've said i'm still waiting on that hopefully i will have it by friday and i will upload it to the youtube community section but anyway guys i just wanted to give you a quick a little taste of what the trailer is going to be like um the five part series i'm currently scripting the first episode it's going to be all about Tom Riddle you know his point of view yes he was evil but I want to see it from his point of view what went through his mind that's where we're going to go we're going to go from the orphanage for probably the first episode maybe Dumbledore will visit him and then we're going to go into his Hogwarts years hopefully I can cover the first Horcrux as well again I don't know how a Horcrux is actually made so I'll have to work that out that will have to be fictionalised but hopefully it will all come together. But we're going to take it episode by episode. I will have an outline for how the whole story will go. But I hope you guys will be happy with this for now. The casting call for the voice actors will be pretty soon. I already have some people in mind um, for some of the characters. And Laura from Laura's Always Pottering. She'll be lending her voice. She's actually a professional actor. So she'll be lending her voice to... Merope Gaunt, Mrs. Cole, um, possibly Amy Benson if she wants. Um, Laura's the front runner for that. I will obviously hear her, um, hear her, or hear her voice, and see how she gets on. But um, the casting call is open for all the characters, just in case that uh, it doesn't work out for her, or she doesn't want to do it. So that will be released over maybe the next two or three weeks. There's no point in rushing this. I want to have my movie poster first. And then we'll go from there. So guys, with that being said, it's so weird saying that on camera. Thank you so much for watching. It's so nice to actually have a really nice high definition camera and my new light as well. So I hope this video goes down really well. Anyway, guys, look out for the next video. I'll be back to normal procedure um, with my next couple of videos coming out over the next couple of days. So I will talk to you then and have a good day.